Today what we're going to do is a session with Sakina. We've had a break yesterday, giving him a break. We'll just see how he is today and I'll just go in and start. Greg's here helping me with the camera because of the cicadas. So I'm going to start way back at my normal boundary. The lens going to start way back at the boundary. Then I'm going to come in to establish my threshold. You're going to come in to establish a threshold. And I'm looking at this point for any tension, and I'm not seeing any tension. I'm getting a lot of relaxed signs, like the car, the nostril, breathing, ears back. So she's looking for any tension. Came has got his ears back, one ear forward. And I'm going to reward that Greg. Because he stepped up, she's going to reward that. And I'm going to go into cat. And stay here now. We're going to cat. And I'm going to go back to mini cat, except each time he takes a step to me, I am going to reward that step. We're going to mini cat, and each time he takes a step to Lynn, he's going to reward the step. And part of that is, he has been rewarded for stepping to me, so if I don't do it now, he'll see it as punishment, and he'll wonder what he's done wrong, which is not the emotion I want at the moment. What I want is trust, relaxation. So I'm going to, and now he's just stepped back there, and that may be that I've lost eye contact in talking to you, Greg, but that's all right. We'll see whether he comes back in. Lynn's going to wait for him to come back in because he stepped back. Um, giving me on, eye con losing eye contact with him has maybe made him step back. He's come back in, as you can see. And what happened then, he made eye contact with me and stepped back in. That's right. I'm going to go to mini cat now. Uh -huh. So Kim has come back in again, so she'll reward that. Every step I get, not back, I'm going so to get in. Forward step is always rewarding, whereas moving back away is not rewarded until he comes back in again. I'm going to hold at mini cat here. He's going to wait because he's looked away. Now he's come back in. He's doing mini cat. I've got to step forward. I'm going to stay in cat for a little while because I've got the blocking of the eye and the step back. So she's waiting for a constant eye contact before she'll reward again. I don't know if you picked that up then, but I just got what I was talking about for the last two days, the body movement where his chest came towards me. It was very subtle. If you'll see it on the video if you're looking for it. Lynn rewarded that because she got the body movement coming towards her. You may not have picked that up, but if you look over it again, you'll see it. So I'm actually now going to see if he'll accept me moving down. I'm going to move to the side and see if he'll move up for me. She's going to see if he'll, he'll move up on her, being on the side. Okay, we just got the movement forward again. There's a step there, so she's going to reward. So what I'm seeing now is a lot more of that muscle movement first, then a step forward. And that's really significant to him. Yep. So she's saying uh, the muscle movement and the step forward, so she thinks says that that's very good for him. This is a horse that wouldn't let you anywhere near him, near her two days ago. And we're going to do a pose, stallion pose. Good boy. Good boy. He, he bows his head, she rewards him. He's just wonderful now. Isn't this fabulous, Greg? We've got the horse back. I'm doing adults are talking and asking for him to stand quietly by me. I'm not going to do anything else other than just this today. Then I'm going to ask Greg to do a session for me. So I'm going to reward that just calmly standing here, nothing happening. Lynn's just rewarding for the horse being nice, calm, in a calm nature standing there, nothing happening. No pressure. 
that he is at the moment trying different different a part of his retinue. You saw him dropping his head thinking, yep. oh, well, I'll get a reward. Yep. He knows if he drops his head, he's, he's going to get a reward and he's, he's trying out all the time. That's where I want the head, not... Yep. I'm not but, rewarding the drop of the head at the moment. Now we'll see what happens at the moment. He's waiting for more of a relaxed head rather than a tense head. So he'll be rewarded for stepping up. Good boy. He's done very well. Good boy. Good boy. Alright. So we're just going to end this session here. This is a change totally. I'll just come up and just talk about it. Yep. Good man. Lynn's just gonna have a word. With the cicadas. As you'll see, this is completely the forward stepping and coming up to me and choosing to come in to me. I think Hazu and Dolores, you'll say that obviously the work I did with Cat, which you'll get this whole series, is quite powerful. And I certainly have my boy back, which is, as you can understand, a relief for me, exciting, but it just shows the power of Cat and being prepared to go back and not push anything at it been my last sessions except what I got. You saw it quite significantly today. He was stepping forward. But also that very subtle micro movements that I was talking about over the weekend, I could see that slight body muscle movement forward before he took a step. And that's what I was rewarding with the micro shaping. You may not, I'm sure you will pick it up on the video. So this is fabulous news. So we're going to do a session in a minute with Greg. We're just going to give him a break and then we'll come back and do a session with Greg.